Thank you. Uh, I should warn you, I'm not going to expose myself or regurgitate it in my performance. But hopefully I'll uh, entertain you. Do we have any uh, newer members here who've been here like less than two years? Any show of it? So we're relatively new, Brooke and I, and when we moved here from uh, New England, our kids frankly thought we'd lost our minds. They were like, how could you uh, leave and uh, go to such a strange place? And I always wish that I'd uh, written them a letter to try and explain our rationale. And I finally got around to it, and I'd like to share it with you uh, tonight. <laughs> Dear kids, I know you all had concerns when Mom and I decided to up and leave the family home in New England after 40 years and move to this strange place called Spring Island in the backwaters of something called the Low Country in a foreign land called South Carolina. <laughs> Well, I'm writing to reassure you, you needn't worry about us. Mom and I couldn't be happier. Yes, the weather is beautiful. But beyond simply trading New England's cold winds and sub-zero temperatures for Spring Island's warm breezes and sub-zero refrigerators, <laughs> what we realize now is we traded a, a frenetic Boston suburb focused on young folks raising children for a beautiful South Carolina focused on older folks raising hell. <laughs> I know you had concerns South Carolina might be too conservative for us Northeast liberals, but I'm happy to tell you the reception we've received from our many conservative friends on the island has been wonderful. In fact, the only poor reception we've experienced on Spring Island has been from Verizon. <laughs> their, their signal strength fluctuates much as your nightly travels did when you were in college between one and two bars. <laughs> it is true most Spring Island residents tilt politically a bit to the right. As one member told us after seeing Mum and me in line at the polling station for the Democratic primary, I guess we now have as many nesting pairs of liberals on the island as we have nesting pairs of eagles. <laughs> As to the point about senior citizens raising hell, let me just say there is so much to, cool stuff to do here. There is hardly enough time or enough Advil to do it. <laughs> Fishing, swimming, yoga, tennis, croquet, golf, horseback riding, and just horsing around. We also have a great sporting clays course. And while some say there is no longer any hunting on the island, Apparently, they haven't tried to find a small FedEx package in the mailroom <laughs> the, week, the week before Christmas. <laughs> All these activities make us hungry, and fortunately, the food here is terrific. Chef Jeremy and his staff do a great job keeping us well-fed with lots of locally sourced food, some of it from our very own waterfall farm under the expert uh, direction of Jim Basara. As a sign of the many medical needs of our gracefully aging community, Jim recently announced we'll be replacing most of the fiber-rich leafy vegetables at the farm with three acres of medical marijuana. <laughs> are looking forward with high expectations <laughs> to the next prescribed burn at the time. In addition to an amazing staff, we also are blessed with a bountiful deer herd, and we show our appreciation for both. 
to our wonderful employees by, us, by serving a meal to them at our employee appreciation luncheon each Christmas, and for our beautiful deer by making a meal of them at our annual <laughs> venison appreciation dinner. The wildlife here is truly amazing. For city slickers, we've learned a lot. We've learned an alligator is not someone who makes an allegation. <laughs> We've learned that big critters are less problematic than little ones. Hence, no seams and moles are much more trouble than coyotes and alligators. <laughs> We've learned that fox squirrels are incredibly cute, armadillos are incredibly stupid, <laughs> and exterminators are incredibly busy. <laughs> Speaking of unusual critters, now this is the audience participation part. The island is home to many wonderful, talented, and quirky people. I know you think mom and I get weirder as we age, but trust me, you ain't seen nothing yet. A couple, a couple examples. J Jack Crawford owner and trainer of some of the island's finest hunting dogs. Jack's obedience training skills are so legendary, some believe he could actually teach the perpetual motion machine known as Charlie Manker to sit. <laughs> John once heard John referred to as a speed freak. This alludes not only to his appetite for illicit drugs, but to his maniacal focus of pace of play on the golf course. In his effort to ensure everyone can complete 18 holes of golf on Tabby Links in under four hours, John has convinced the golf committee to encourage slower players to speed up their pace by tasing them on the 10th tee. <laughs> Bailey Symington, patron of the arts who generously shares her lovely home so we can all enjoy a variety of classical musical performances. Bailey's home has marvelous acoustics, or so I'm told by the handful of islanders who have yet to be fitted with hearing aids. <laughs> You'd be proud of how Mom and I party hard at these and other musical events arranged by our performing arts ringleader and MC this evening, Nick Ihaz. Nick is the second most famous Hungarian on the island, <laughs> after our assistant chef, Attila, <laughs> known affectionately as Attila the Hung Gree. <laughs> Sorry about that one. Uh, some of our wilder concert events, like tonight's, go on until 9 p.m. <laughs> or as we call it here on Spring Island, midnight. <laughs> Mom and I see ourselves living here a long time, which, I have to warn you kids, could both delay and reduce your inheritance. <laughs> given, given our high monthly charges from Verizon for intermittent service, and a water bill from CUC that is so high we've begun watering our plants with bottled water we've been ashamed to say pilfering from the coolers at the tennis court. I'm sorry kids, but there's likely to be very little inheritance left when mom and I, as they say, finish playing the back nine. <laughs> well, kids, I hope you're reassured Mom and I weren't crazy when we decided to move to this amazing place. But now that I think about it, maybe we are a little crazy. Crazy about Spring Island's creatures, about Spring Island's beauty, and especially about its marvelous people, your ever-loving and ever-aging dad. <laughs>